Hi Year Ones! Today with Wise Owl we're going to make some arrays and we're going to write some repeated addition number sentences. So let's start. Now I've got a grid here I've made and we've got some rows. So the rows, and there's the arrow pointing, rows go across. A bit like when we're sitting down in assembly and we're like, we, we sit in rows in our classes, don't we? Reception at the front, then year ones, then year twos, threes, fours, fives, and year sixes at the back, because they're the biggest. So rows go across. Now, but we've also got some columns. Now columns go from the bottom to the top, a bit like tall towers. Like that. So they're columns. Columns go up, rows go across. Now, I've got ooh, six counters here. Now, I'm going to make what's called an array. An, an array. Strange word, isn't it? But I'm going to make an array with my counters on my grid. So let's see what I'm going to do. OK, I'm going to put this one here, this one here, this one here. This one here, there, and there. Okay, so there's my six counters. Now, the first question we're going to ask ourselves is, how many counters, or we can imagine they're children sitting in assembly, how many counters or children are there in each row? Well, let's have a look. Well, in this row, we've got one, two. Or oh, in this next row, we've got two as well. And we've got two in this one, because it's an equal group. So we've got two counters or children in each row. And how the next question is, how many rows have we got? Well, we've got one, two, three rows. Now, so two children and three rows. So I'm going to write that down. I'm going to write, well, there's two children or counters in the first row, plus there's two in the second row, plus, oh, sorry, two, plus two in the third row. Now, how many counters all together? We can count in twos, can't we? Two, four, six. So I can write my equals six. So that's one way of writing a repeated addition number sentence for my array. But I hear you say, what about columns? Right, well done rows, now let's look at columns. So first thing we need to say is, how many counters or children in each column? Well, let's count one, two, three. So there's three in that column, those columns go up, remember, and there's one, two, three counters or children in that column. How many columns are there? Well, there's one, two. So there's three children in each column and there's two columns. So let's write that down. So first of all, we've got three counters or children in the first column and we've got three children or counters in the second column. Let's put equal sign What's the answer? Well, we've not taken any counters away, so it's exactly the same. So we've got two ways to, to show our array of six counters. OK, let's try a bigger one now. Now, imagine we're in assembly and well, let's put on some music, shall we, for the next one, because we can have some more counters coming in or children. Uh, OK. There we go. Right, all the children, all the counters are now in the hall. So, let's try, we've made a different array this time with 20 counters or children. Let's see if we can write that down in two different ways. So, remember what we said. First question is, 
how many counters in each row? Well, let's have a look. We've got one, two, three, four, five in that row. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's five. There's five in each row. So five counters in in each row. How many rows are there? One, two, three, four. So five children in each in four rows. So I'm going to write that down. So there's five children in the first row plus five in the second row plus five in the third row plus five in the fourth row equals well, counting fives five ten fifteen twenty so there's twenty counters or children all together now we've done rows let's write it another way so let's get columns this time so first question how many counters in each column well let's count one two three four there's four in that column yeah, there's four in that one. Yeah, four in that one. Yes, yeah, so there's four counters in each column. How many columns are there? One, two, three, four, five. So four counters and five columns. Oh, it's a long one. So there's four counters in the first column, four in the second, four in the third, four in the fourth column, and four in the fifth column. Wow, now that's quite a big sum. That's four plus four plus four plus four plus four. But we know what the answer is, don't we? As we've not taken any away. So the answer is 20. Okay, well done. Now, when you have a go at making some arrays, try and make arrays for these numbers. Eight, 10 and 15 and then thinking about your rows and your columns. See if you can write, write two different number sentences for each number, just like I did there. Okay, uh, if you want to record that in your book and draw them, you can, or just, just, just use counters or, or pennies or buttons or anything you want and just have fun exploring. Okay, well done. Wise Owl looks forward to seeing um, some of the things you've done. Don't you Wise Owl? Okay. Bye children. Have a nice day.